Hello, I am the Silver Wheel Witch. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with everyone my binders that include all of the larger size artworks that I've received in the Witch's Moon boxes that I have been getting over the years. So there will be a few missing pieces of artwork as from the time that I started receiving their boxes, there has been a few times where I've needed to temporarily stop getting their boxes, but for the most part, I've put them in a certain order. And basically what I have at this time is three binders full. So I thought what I would do is go ahead and show those to you. Um, I'll go ahead and put some timestamps down below for the different binders in case you don't wanna watch the whole video. Um, the first binder is all of the artwork that has the moon phases um, uh, as well as the wheel of the year and any um, sabbats and stuff like that. The second binder that I have is all of the um, elementals, spirit guides, guardians, deity, um, mythical beings, uh, all of those are in this other binder. And then the last binder that I have for you today is all of the other miscellaneous uh, grimoire, book of shadow, um, witchy information and tools type of artwork. So with that, let me go ahead and put these other two aside. And let's see if I can zoom in to give you guys a closer look. There we go. I have to open it up. And actually see if I can zoom in just a little bit closer so you guys can get a nice look at the artwork. It's absolutely stunning. There we go. All right, that looks good. All right, so the first piece here is the uh, moon magic, the lunar phases. Very beautiful piece of artwork here. And I'll go ahead and pause in case you wanna um, freeze frame to take a closer look at it. Uh, then we have the super moon. Uh, one of the months that the boxes came out, there was actually a super moon that month. So they included this beautiful super moon artwork. And then we have the February Esbat and full moon, the storm moon. The April Esbat and full moon, which is the flower moon. The May Esbat and Full Moon, Lover's Moon. June Esbat and Full Moon, the Honey Moon. July Esbat and Full Moon, the Stag Moon. September Esbat and Full Moon, the Harvest Moon. December Esbat and Full Moon, the Oak Moon. And then we have the Wheel of the Year, which also I like that it gives a moon phase as well for each part of the year and the different seasons and astrological signs as well. And then starting with Samhain, um, I don't actually have a Samhain artwork, but I do have the a spell to honor the ancestors.
we have a Yule Blessing. Yule Correspondences for December 21st through 22nd. In bulk. star correspondences for the spring equinox March 20th through 21st Beltane correspondences this is for April 30th through May 1st and then we have midsummer June 20 through 22nd, as well as another one for summer for June 21st through September 22nd. And one for Lamas correspondences. And we have Maybon correspondences as well. Okay, so that is the artwork that I have for the Estats and Sabbaths. So I'll go ahead and set that one aside. And next we'll take the one for page and this binder here is all um, elementals spirit guides uh, guardians uh, beings deity and so forth and I've just put them in an order that made sense to me and we start with the light body followed by the shadow self. The fairy king. The fairy queen. Unicorn, Dragons, The Element of Wind, Elemental Spirits, includes information for Sliffs, Gnomes, Undine, and Salamander. Tree Guardian. A solemn Protector. Spirit of the Oak, and then we have an Ascended Guides chart here, which is really nice. It lists out the Ascended Guide, their origin, and their guiding message. It's a very nice piece of artwork to have, followed by the Triple Goddess. Mother, Maiden, Mother, and Crone. And then we go into the deity artwork. So we have Aphrodite and her correspondences. Bastet. 
along with the correspondences. Benton. Rigged. Gaia. Hecate. Medusa. Nix. Celine. And last but not least, Soul. There we go. All right, so that is the binder with all of the guides and deity in there. And the last binder I have here is more grimoire style pieces. So the first one here is a cleansing mantra. In the name of the divine, I am aligned. I detach and discard all energies not of my making. I release all energies contrary to my greatest potential. I clear, cleanse, and transmute them to purified, constructive, and helpful forms for the greatest good of all. I fill myself with the gifts of joy, love, peace, and prosperity. As a reflection of the divine, may it be as above, so below, as below, so above, so may it be. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then we have this beautiful artwork on the witch's bell. And uh, what rain it a certain number of times uh, does. Guide, oracle, summoner, and exorcist. We then have the artwork on the magical wand, how to charge a wand, and consecrate it. Magical tree companion. So this one gives you a nice picture of the leaf as well as some artwork drawn of the bark and the correspondence for these trees. A beautiful piece of artwork on fluorite. This artwork came with a selenite athene and it has information on cutting cords. followed by one we had in a previous box for chakras. And then we have the zodiac and celestial sky correspondences. And the table of alchemical symbols. The Witch's Alphabet, Runes, Witch's Runes, and Tassiomancy. 
And there you have it. That is what I have for the larger size artwork for the Witch's Moon. Um, let me know what you guys thought if you enjoyed watching through these. Um, if so, I do have the smaller size. I have quite a bit more of those. They are not in binders though, but I could, would definitely love to go ahead and flip through those if you guys would like to see them. Just let me know down in the comments. And with that, I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.